All right. I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about Bard right now in its current state in the early access of Dark and Darker. Um, I keep getting asked, what are the best trio groups for Bards? What is the best solo build? What is the... Uh, what song should I be taking? What talents? What gear should I be prioritizing? What stat should I be getting? So I'm going to make this video real quick and just talk about all that and try to get it all out of there for anyone who wants to try Bard, whoever wants to get into it or just wants some confirmation of what they should be doing. So let's get right into it. Uh, right now I want to clarify the best trio groups for Bard. The best trios I would say is bard wizard cleric uh bard barbarian or fighter cleric or even bard rogue cleric can be very good but hold that thought right now this is the first time that you're actually able to replace a cleric in the high roller uh environment with a bard and run trio uh dps and still be viable down in the dungeon albeit it's a bit harder and a little less safe but it is much more destructive than any of the previous uh, trio groups that I have said before, such as Bard Wizard Rogue, Bard Wizard Ranger, uh, Bard Fighter Rogue, Bard Fighter uh, Ranger, anything like that. You can mix it up pretty much any way you want. I will say that the two worst classes that you can partner up with with Bard right now would be the Ranger and the Rogue. And that doesn't mean that they're bad, in any mean at all let me clarify i just feel that they do not get as much benefit as everybody else from your songs and your support so there are two different ways that you could play bard i will say uh we'll call it battle bard and support bard uh battle bard is the type of bard that i like to play this is the running in after getting all of your buffs up all your personal buffs are up the stats are up the uh move speed and attack speed buff are up for your teammates and then you run in for a flank or you protect a squishy that you see a rogue or a fighter or a barbarian that are chasing them and you protect your cleric you protect your wizard in the back line you protect your ranger in the back line whichever war uh, the second bard is the support bard and the support bard is more always sitting in the back always running songs for the buffs always playing the offensive flute songs uh, for battle bar talent skills and songs we'll touch on that right now this is what i run and currently i'm running with a in mind i am running cleric wizard bard and i am running charismatic performance wanderer's luck dancing feet and rapier mastery you want to keep charismatic performance all the time. This never ever leaves uh, your talent pool. It always perform, uh, upgrades a good performance up to a perfect performance. Now in game, you'll see it say great performance played. That means that it got upgraded to perfect. It was a good, now it's a perfect. You don't have to worry about that. This allows you to speed cast your songs by skipping performance notes while still playing the song at a good level. Uh, Wanderer's Luck increases your luck stat by 100, as you can see over here, increased by 100, and all it says is luck. Uh, Wanderer's Luck does stack with Luck Potion. You can buy it at the merchant here at the Fortune Teller for 50 gold. The Potion of Luck will give you 50 to 150 bonus to your luck stat. So when you, pot when you drink the potion, you can check on your class sheet by opening up your inventory, pressing tab, look at the luck stat you'll see it stacking now the luck potion lasts for the entire dungeon as long as you do not die that includes going down to b3 which is hell or b2 if you want to call it for that for now so you can pop it as soon as you go in and you're in the ruins you go in you have it for the entire ruins you go down to hell once you load into hell you still have your buff rolling now you can only use one luck potion at a time and yeah so don't don't bring in more than, you know, more than one. Uh, dancing feet, increasing your movement speed by 10 while holding an instrument. This allows you to keep up with your teammates during the dungeon, as while you're playing songs and having your instruments out, you move incredibly slow. So this allows you to keep the momentum and the mobility to keep up with the rest of your team because movement and action economy and time spent in the dungeon means a lot to the bard. That will be what determines a good bard from a bad bard. And we'll touch more on action economy and time spent later on 
And lastly, Rapier Mastery. This is more of a, you can change this out if you want. This is just a press personal preference. If you're running with a wizard that you know likes to stay in the back and throw fireballs all the time and ice bolts and lightning bolts and all that shit, you can grab Storyteller and give them three more will and knowledge, which will increase their cast speed and damage by a lot. Um, however, this aura is a very short range. It's about a spear length of 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 range so you kind of have to be very close uh, to your people if you have a wizard that likes to invis haste go around the team and flank i do not recommend picking this up because this is just a dead talent for your teammates however you can still get the will and knowledge buff for yourself so if you want to play support bard this could be a good option uh if you're more for a physical comp such as rogue fighter bard you can pick up war song which will increase your allies weapons attack power by three for six seconds every time you play a song the uptime in this is actually very, very slept on and gives a lot of damage for, especially for rogues. Um, but you know, all that last slot is all your choice. Um, if I was going to pick support bard, I would replace rapier mastery. Like I said, with, with probably storyteller. You can meme around with reinforced instruments. If you want to throw drums, it's going to increase the drum damage by 50% by just throwing them, which I already have a lot of, a lot of damage already. Um, or you could do superior dexterity to increase the switching out of weapons and instruments pretty fast. It also works for potions and throwing axes, throwing knives, so keep that in mind too. There are two skills we're going to be using here is both music memory. Right now, I don't see a need for dissonance. Uh, there's not enough clerics or there's not enough wizards and warlocks right now to really justify this in a high roller setting. Um, and plus all over on the music sheet we have song of silence if you wanted to take that anyway which completely removes the need of dissonance to begin with um and with that we will go on to the music for battle bard we're going to be using allegro accelerando rousing rhythms tranquility coral of clarity uh tranquility you can replace if you have a cleric still nice to have to be comfy you don't really have to use as many healing items but if you have a cleric you can switch this out if you want core of clarity if you're running with a cleric or a wizard or a combination of both this is a must-have uh personals over here i have ballad of courage beast of alacrity uh harmonic shield i use these three and we'll touch on why i don't use area of alacrity however it's still area is still pretty good however i don't find it necessary in the comp that i play with and you might find it necessary in your composition i do not um harmonic shield is the only two minute buff that lasts or only buff that lasts for two minutes that you can give to your allies your beats and ballad of courage are your self only buffs and we'll touch more on these when we go more into the solo build later on in the video uh up here i take unchained harmony because i'm running wanderer's luck and i usually take a luck potion with me i can unlock literally anything in the game lock doors lock chests it doesn't matter as long as it's not a golden key door or a metal gate this unlocks and opens everything within the aoe the last slot uh song of shadow this is kind of like a meme slot you can use anything here that you want uh, this is an open open slot you can bring area of alacrity if you want uh, you can use din of darkness you can use any of your uh, flute spells if you want to however all the rest of these loot uh, songs i don't recommend bringing in or using chaotic discord still doesn't work for boss monsters it didn't before it doesn't now or uh, boss skeletons it doesn't you know it doesn't work then it doesn't work now uh, reducing the movement speed for six seconds, peacemaking, song of silence. It's, it's all kind of negligible, especially when I play battle bard. If you're playing more of a support bard, I recommend just replacing your song of shadow and ballad of courage for shriek of weakness and piercing shrill for a large aoe damage that gives the echo sound effect that is basically a screen distortion that gives you that gives the enemies a drunken effect and shriek of weakness reduces armor rating and power for 18 seconds it's a big aoe 
it's a pretty noticeable uh, decrease especially on your barbarians and your fighters but other than that as a support bard all you want to be doing is staying in the back keeping up allegro keeping up accelerando making sure your uh, rousing rousing rhythms is up and your harmonic shield is up and then just doing whatever you can giving your spellcasters their spell back during the middle of the battle and using shriek and banshee how or uh, shriek and piercing shrill whenever you can all right so let's talk about action economy and time spent in the dungeon so in the dungeon you have roughly around 12 15 minutes before the ring goes from the game starting till force closing during this time you always want to make sure that you have your buffs rolling and you're getting the maximum amount of time used with those buffs this goes back to one of the reasons why i don't use uh, area of alacrity as i feel like getting all four personal buffs uh, and harmonic shield including uh, takes too much time and too much effort and is keeping you more out of the fight plus not taking uh, not taking area of alacrity uh, loosens up one belt slot since you do not need to bring a loot and you can use this belt slot for more consumables throwing axes throwing knives another drum to throw a drum it opens up a lot more possibilities and allows you to be more versatile if you want to run area of alacrity be my guest you can bring the loot with you and carry it around it's just my personal preference this it's just all about speed and momentum getting into fights clearing rooms as fast as possible looting as fast as possible getting in and getting out get with as much stuff as you can with that we're going to move on to stat priority and for battle bard for stat priority we want to focus on move speed percentage right here on this buckler here we have 0.5 percent move speed bonus since it's a percentage it stacks much more with our uh song of alacrity that's eh, not song of alacrity what is it called uh beats of alacrity and our accelerando since these increase base movement speed you get more value out of the percentage bonus from items and gear move speed percentage is best in slot for both support and battle bard um, but for battle bard the only other stat you really need to be looking out for is weapon damage and not weapon bonus not additional physical damage like this on this crossbow you want uh where is it where is it we need weapon damage right here wander attire two weapon damage again the reason for this stat specifically weapon damage is because of our ballad of courage giving physical power bonus which helps increase your weapon damage and it scales up off of your weapon damage uh, for uh, support bard your stat priority is going to be more for knowledge for your cast speed uh, cast speed percentage uh, like right here on this spell, spell casting speed 2.8 percent on the drum uh, buff duration and will in that order so again knowledge cast speed percentage buff duration and then will will is our lowest stat and increases our spell power which doesn't necessarily do much for us but will help your offensive flute songs and it increases your buff and curse duration so this will increase your duration of your song buffs of course now gear selection for bards it's really up to preference here but i believe rapier is king do not ever run falchion in a three stack always use rapier stay away from the arming sword personally i just don't think the falchion is great even with the song the attack speed song i believe that the falchion will get you in a lot of trouble and i believe its only usefulness is whenever you're not whenever you do not have the attention of an enemy chasing it that is pushing on your team that is chasing one of your teammates if an enemy is chasing one of your teammates i believe this is good uh using a falchion is good but that doesn't always happen Normally when people see a bard, you're going to be the one that they focus. So you, you want to prioritize your move speed and your kiting ability. Um, personally, I like to run Rapier Buckler. The Buckler gives you the added armor rating, which equivalates to about 5% more, uh, three to 5% more physical damage reduction uh, for a very low minus seven move speed. And you can also use the Buckler as a stat stick. This one giving one all attributes. The other one that I have is move speed bonus, which is incredibly huge, which already 
nullifies the minus seven move speed. You can use the hand or the hand crossbow, handy. The hand crossbow is very good for outputting, outputting damage very fast, especially if someone is pushing you from a medium distance. You can shoot off the hand crossbow, hit tab real quick, right click it off, uh, hit tab again, and you have your rapier out. You don't have the minus 18 move speed anymore. Your crossbow needs to be reloaded anyway, and you're good to just use the rapier. Either that, or you can hit two. If you have a rapier in your second slot with nothing else in it or a buckler in it, if you want to do that, you can just hit two, go right to that. Personally, what I do is I just hit hand crossbow, shoot it, hit tab, right click it out, hit tab again. Good to go. Your second slot, use a crossbow. Use a crossbow uh, for your second slot. That's what I would, I would prefer, using a crossbow. Give you that range option, especially if you're using a buckler. Do you use buckler, crossbow, second option like that? Easy peasy. For armor, we're gonna go for the helmet. Your best in slot, obviously, for min maxing purposes, is going to be the leather cap. Uh, it gives more headshot reduction, uh, more armor rating, the same amount of move speed penalty. Uh, it, the leather cap is just it's just too good comparing to the rest of the bard helmets. Now, you're playing bard. So that means you're allowed to use the barred helmet. So if you see a barred helmet, you know, and you like it, you like the straw hat, fucking use the straw hat. Who cares? You want to use a leather bonnet, use a leather bonnet. Doesn't matter. The bonuses for the helmet is pretty negligible. So if you want to be fancy, use whatever hat you want. Now for the chest pieces, your armor, your best in slot or battle bard is going to be your regal gambesons. Uh, regal gambeson gives you a huge chunk of armor that'll keep your survivability high against uh, rogues and rangers and arming sword using fighters uh using it against a barbarian it'll help a little bit that if, that, that if they're running uh hand axe or horseman axe it'll help a little bit there but your momentum and your speed it's going to keep you alive during those fights the thing is with the regal gambeson and how much movement speed you already have as a bard the minus 15 movement speed from a regal gambeson is very welcomed on the bard because of all of the bonuses you're already getting you are hands down one of the if not the fastest class in the game right now especially if you have your two minute buffs running with the beats of a lahri and a celerando other than that if you don't have a regal gamson your wanderer attire your troubadour outfits they're good uh your paddock tunics they're good to wear too other than that if you just have a gray chest piece that you're starting out with i actually recommend just taking it off and uh, getting the extra little bit of movement speed instead of the 10 armor or you can look cool and just use troubadour outfit you know, your choice part of bard is looking cool while killing people for pants obviously you're going to want your loose trousers that give base one agility the least amount of movement speed penalty and the armor rating is not quite there but the mood speed is going to keep you alive more than the heavy leather legs that give you strength and a little bit more armor just because of the agility with the attack speed the move speed and the negative move speed only being three um loose trousers over everything else boots of course lightfoot boots are going to be your best again with the most movement speed a little bit of armor uh, you can find some good pairs like here it gives max health bonus 10 movement speed two additional move speed it's only five armor rating but the, the you're going to be zooming if you find a good pair of boots that are like this and with the second stat rolling health i mean it'll keep you alive a little bit longer but the second stat can obviously be rolled with like all attributes something else it'd be pretty good or movement speed percentage this would be god tier other than that you can use heavy boots you know if you find some with additional physical damage you get a little bit more armor magic resist you can find some with like armor pen and stuff like that the only shoes you really want to be or boots you want to be staying away from away from are shoes stay away from shoes your old shoes your laced shoes stay stay the fuck away from those only use them if you have literally nothing else for your gloves obviously again with the agility leather gloves i prefer the leather gloves over the heavy gloves the heavy gloves will give you one to strength passively the leather gloves are giving you the one to agility they're pretty nice you can find someone some physical damage it's even better you can use reinforced gloves they have nice armor and nice magic resistance but those are kind of your low tier options wouldn't really use those if you can however if you're playing as support bard you're going to want to be using raw high gloves, obviously, for the one knowledge, one will. For your rings and necklaces, again, just remember your stat prioritization for the type of bard that you want to play. Uh, for battle bard, move speed, 
weapon damage. You can get some resourcefulness if you want. I'm just kind of using that because I have so many necklaces already. You can use some will stuff for your spellcasting bard. Uh, strength is good too. Your ox pendants, they're very good. They'll keep you alive. They give you more weapon damage or they give you more attack power rather. It's very important not to confuse those two. Personally, I would keep an eye out for rat pendants. Not rat pendants, I'm sorry. The Do I not have any? Uh-oh. Yeah, any of the agility necklaces, I guess I don't have any more of them, but any of them that give, that give two base agility, those are going to be your bread and butter. All right, and that's pretty much it for a bard for your trios. Right now, I'm going to move on to the solo uh, portion of the video. And if I was going to be running solo, I will say first off for your type of style of bard that you want to play, you're always going to be wanting to run battle bard no matter what. You do not want to play spell casting support bard playing songs in front of people inside the goblin caves and trying to lower their move speed and trying to get fancy you don't want to do any of that stuff you just want to get in there with all of your buffs up rip their face off avoid all of their attacks block them with the buckler or kill them with the and crossbow etc etc for solo you can use a falchion for solo it's actually the only time that i would suggest you use a falchion for most fights you're only going to be getting into brawls with rogues and fighters and you want to take them down as fast as you can your movement speed will help against fighters but against barbarians and solo you're if you're still going to want to be using the rapier obviously but let's hit on the perks and skills for solo uh out of all of these i wouldn't really i would change i actually would change uh dancing feet for war song and solo because you don't have teammates and it's only you you don't really have to worry about your movement speed while playing songs to keep up with your teammates you can go for a more offensive build with war song giving you three more attack power weapon attack power still running rapier mastery for weapon damage on your rapiers but if you're not running with a rapier using falchion you take that off you can run storyteller you can run reinforced instruments if you want to get some drum kills which are very very strong or you know and pretty much any any of these if you feel like you're moving too slow you can go lower mastery to open doors open chests a little faster but for me personally i love my rapier i'm always going to be using it i'll never forsake it so i prefer rapier mastery with that for the song list and solo though i i, I would say bring in uh area of alacrity instead of the invis and that way you can have all four of your personals you don't have to worry about action economy you don't have to worry about too much time in the dungeon you don't have to worry about always keeping your friends buffed always replenishing spells or your casters you don't have to worry about any of that the only person you have to worry about is yourself so running all four of these are very good however you will have to sacrifice a belt slot now for your area of alacrity you won't really have much room for uh, throwing knives or many more consumables we'll just pretend this healing pot is a is a loot so now you only have your torches and your protection of protection pots you can sacrifice the torches if you want if you want to put a throwing knife in there really kind of up to you or an extra drum if you want to throw that but th those are the most uh important things uh that is about it i believe i think that about wraps it up so if i missed anything let me know let me know in the comments and that's about it for the video so thanks i'm out of here <laughs>